Okay, I would like to talk about Node.js uh, with the TypeScript. I've started to use uh, TypeScript with the front-end technologies, but then I started also to use that in uh, no with Node.js, and I liked it. TypeScript is uh, a language that uh, transpiles to ES5, ES6. It is also a superset of JavaScript, which means your uh, JavaScript code is still valid in TypeScript code. Like Babel, it's a transpiler with a lot less configuration. The main feature of uh, TypeScript are interfaces, which is the way for defining complex types in TypeScript. You are not forced to add uh, types to your code, but you will see that uh, the editor and the compiler will help you a lot not to make mistakes. You shouldn't write uh, less tests because now you have types. Instead, you can use uh, TypeScript to write, to write tests too. Using a type definition for existing library, there is the CLI for installing the typings. For example, Ch the ChaiJS assertion libraries and also Lodash, which has a huge documentation, but sometimes the intelligence and the inline documentation just uh, works well to not to live with the documentation always open in the browser. TS node is like a bubble node. It's a CLI that uh, transpiles in memory TypeScript and executes that immediately. If you don't like the idea of running TS node uh, on a production server, you can just use that in development because it's quick. TypeScript is not taking you away from JavaScript because it doesn't take more than one or two hours to learn the syntax of interfaces, and it is just enough to start. And you will see that the output code that you expect is not so far from the JavaScript that, uh, that you expect. I want to do a, a short live coding. You see, I'm creating an empty folder. I don't know how to zoom the terminal. <laughs> I'm writing TSC init, which is the command for starting a TypeScript project, which is just uh, a project with uh, a JTS config JSON in the root where I can say that I want to target ES6, just because I say so. <laughs> I want to show you ES6, I, would have, I could have chosen ES5. <laughs> this is my application file and a text file, where I put some string. My application that I'm going to write will just print this uh, text file to the console, so I'm porting some Node.js libraries. And now he is complaining that he doesn't know these libraries. It's because I have to install the typings for Node.js, so I'm, I'm using the typings CLI. Okay, we have the typings. And now I can start writing my code. You can see that I have also the intelligence while I write. Even if it is, sim even if it is a simple code, it is nice. Okay, so I want to show you the compiled code. So TSC compiles uh, the code. You see that it didn't change completely the things. Uh, yeah, it is almost identical to the to the code that you are expecting. And now I'm executing TS node against in against the application file in TypeScript. Hmm, not good. <laughs> I will I will go. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, likely. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I, I prepared everything, but it's, it's always like this. Okay. Uh. 
Okay. It should work. Uh, I really am lucky. I prefer everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. I fucked up everything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Ah, you know what? It's because I'm using NVM and I'm not, I'm not using the latest version of Node to support ES6. Ah, I'm really sorry. That I hope that this is. <laughs> Oh, now I'm using node 6. And it's not working, but it's what uh, I expected to show. <laughs> this is a... Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's because uh, at work I'm using node version manager, and I was uh, using a previous version of node which uh, doesn't uh, know all the ES6 syntax. But now I'm using the right version of Node. Okay, so it didn't show the string, why? It's because uh, this function has another overload where I can put the encoding and all my code works. <laughs> I want to show you one last thing <laughs> that I could have written uh, this function in a named way. So function. And say that the second parameter must be a string. Then again, if I put my function here, it's complaining, uh, I fucked up everything. Okay. Now he's complaining that uh, the second argument passed is not a string. He should complain, sorry. And then again, if I put uh, the second argument, I have a valid code. Sorry, I hope that he to do it better, but uh, you see, sometimes uh, shit happens. <laughs> Contact me on Twitter if you want to talk about uh, JavaScript or TypeScript. Thank you.